Hey guys and welcome to another episode of Dan's Pro Shop where everything's made up and the instructions do not matter. Well, at least most of the time anyway. Sometimes you got to read through and figure out what's going on. Anyway, I digress. Today, we got another one from my friends over at KaiWeets.com. They reached out to me and said, hey Dan, you want to check out one of our new multimeters? And I'm like, yeah, I absolutely do. So, you guys, you can tell here, this thing hasn't been opened yet. We're going to do this together for the first time so you can get my genuine reaction. We can see how it's packaged, see what it's all about. But let's dive into this thing and see what we got going on today. So guys, let's go ahead and get into this. Uh, let's take a look at the package. There's really nothing crazy going on in the box here. Not much information. Don't worry, there is a ton of information online. Like if you want more specific data about what's going on before you make a purchase, you can always look that up. But uh, as far as the box goes, it's really just a box. So let's go ahead and get in here and see what we're working with. Oh man, right off the bat here. Let's get rid of that comes in a nice little case i wasn't expecting that so that's cool i mean uh not crazy this isn't like a pelican case but a nice soft nylon something oh there we go here's an information booklet but uh yeah yeah you know we're probably not going to be looking at that everything's nice individually wrapped wow i tell you what this thing's meaty it's uh it's covered in like like an otter box or something. Well, that's obviously not an otter box, but uh, wow, that thing's pretty beefy. I really wasn't expecting that. This is definitely some kind of flexible PVC. Well, you can tell it's it's got some gumminess to it. Where This is where I'm guessing you stick your leads in. If you need to do something one-handed, like you can hold the, the red one over here and put the ground in here so you can still see what's going on. That's, uh, that's pretty nice. Oh, and we got a kickstand. That's cool. I that added little feature. I like that. And a hook here. So like you can hang it on a screw or put a strap through this part. You know, like those uh, Klein magnetic things or like Fluke makes them too. This is super nice. And on top here, what? We got an inductive pickup. So if you guys have ever used those like chicken sticks, whenever you hold it next to a live wire, it'll light up and beep and everything. It appears as though that's what this is also. And looks like we got an LED work light. So right out of the gate here, I'm liking the way this works. Here we have our regular comm connector, milliamp, 10 amp, and then one specifically for like diodes and capacitance. So far, so good. Looks as though we're going to have to throw some batteries in this thing. But uh, hey, look, they're provided. That's nice. What else do we got here? A little uh, gungy strap here to hold all your leads. Comes with a thermocouple. So that right off the bat tells me, even without looking at this thing, that it works as a thermometer also. That's nice. Let's see. Uh, yep, there's a setting specifically just for Celsius and Fahrenheit. That's nice. Go ahead and rip these leads apart. See what they look like. Yeah, nothing crazy. These look like your typical PVC. They're not silicone. They're not the fancy ones, but they're pretty nice. They're rated for 10 amp max, just like the meter is. 600 volt Cat 4. Oh, they got the, the nice little covers on the end, though. So, like, if you're doing something delicate, you can leave that on there so you don't risk shorting out whatever you're touching, or you put the insulator on, you know, so you take it off so you can do other stuff. That, that's nice. Oh, and it's, I've seen this before. A new set of leads, are, they come with these, like, dust caps. So if and when, for whatever reason, you have this thing disconnected and you want to take your leads off, if you have these things laying in a drawer or back in the case or whatever, you snap these little dust caps in the end of your leads in these banana clips here just to keep crud out of there so it doesn't end up screwing you later, like this is all full of dust and pocket lint or whatever, and you shove it in here and it doesn't work. So this is a nice little add-on. Probably not going to get used all that often, 
but it's cool to have it in the kit so I know that it's there if I want and or need to use it. So let's go ahead and uh, throw some batteries in this thing, fire it up and see what it's all about. Uh, so like I said at the beginning, I'm doing this for the first time with you guys, so forgive me if I stumble through this. We're just going to see what this is all about. Well, that's easy enough. Really not much going on there. I'll tell you what, that's nice that they give you batteries with it. A lot of crap just expects you to do it, but uh, I'm sure <laughs> these probably aren't the best. You can tell by the weight that these are kind of cruddy. But, uh, hey... At least it comes with it. That's nice. Go ahead, throw this thing back together. Little locking tabs at the top. Screw in at the bottom. Wow, oh, nice big display, man. Look at those. That's probably three quarters of an inch tall number. That's super nice. What is this? Well, you guys see this? The, the holes here where the leads connect light up. Let me see. Let me kill the lights here so you guys see what's going on. You see this? The meter is telling me what to plug in. Look at that. I changed this over to, I don't I can't even see this now because it's dark. So it tells me to change my lead location. How freaking cool is that? This is like absolutely idiot proof. Because if you guys have done this before, I'm sure that you know with a standard meter like this, whenever you check voltage, your probes have to be in one location. Whenever you check amperage, it has to be in a different location. And especially if the last thing you did was current draw or amperage, and then you turn it on the next time, go to check voltage, and then you blow the fuse in your meter. It happens all the time. This is freaking awesome. It just tells you what to do and where everything goes. I tell you what, 10 out of 10 on that. I was not expecting it at all, but this is a freaking awesome feature. Okay, now that we got some uh, illumination back on here, let's see this one. Oh, the backlit screen also. That's super nice. I wonder how we get this flashlight going on. Ah, you got to hold the backlight button. That's nice. That's, let's kill the lights again and see how all this looks. All right, so you're looking at it just regular without. One press on the backlight screen comes right on. That's super nice. And it's, Man, I can't get over how cool this is. Anyway, so nice big backlit display. And then you click this button again for the backlight and hold it. And it turns on. A nice little LED work light. I mean, it's not it's not a spotlight, but this is enough that if you're working in a cabinet, you can find a screw or something that you need to touch with it. So that, that is a nice feature. Even if you got to set this thing up on the kickstand, then you have a nice little work light to put in front of whatever you're doing. That's super handy. I really do like that feature. All right, now that we can see what we're doing again, let's keep going through. Like I mentioned earlier, I saw this, uh, what appears to be an inductive pickup on top here. The very last thing on the dial selection here is NCV Live. So I'm going to take a solid guess and say that that is non-contact voltage live. Eh, who knows? It might stand for something completely different, but I'm guessing that's what it is. Let's go over and fly over to that and see how the meter reacts. NCU, non-contact unit, perhaps? I don't know. Here, I have uh, an extension cord plugged up on the wall here. Let's see what it does. So with the meter on this setting, let's go ahead, check this cord over here, because it's running the light over the workbench, so I know that it's on. Let's see what the meter does. Oh, that's nice. You get a beep and an LED and an indication on the screen. Wow, that is super cool. L and H? What does that mean? Low or high or line and hot? I don't know. Either way, you see the LED on top. 
it turns red and it beeps rapidly to let you know that there is a live AC line there. I'm guessing it's proximity. Like, there's low voltage right there. There's high voltage right there. You know, perhaps this is why people are supposed to read instructions. But hey, what's the fun in that? I enjoy figuring this stuff out for myself. So, that is really cool. And it's super sensitive, too. I do like that. Uh, this is the first time I've ever had a regular DMM like this with a feature like that in it. I really do like that. And as far as a voltage test goes, well, let's just, uh, let's set this thing to, uh, voltage and give it a go. And take a look here. Well, again, we're lighting up, so it tells me where to hook up my probes. And it simply has a setting for volts and millivolts. There is not a setting for AC or DC. So that means there has to be a button or it's auto ranging. So let's see right here. It says DC. Let's hit function. Changes to AC. There you go. So there's one selection on the dial itself. And then you have to tell it what kind of voltage we're looking for. So in this case, uh, that better be AC coming out of that outlet over there. So let's uh, throw the probes in here and stab the wall and see what it says. So let's go ahead and take these uh, scaredy cat caps off the end of these things and expose them since we're jamming into an outlet. Like most of you know, maybe some of you don't. On a regular wall outlet, the small slot is the hot side. The larger one is the neutral, and obviously this is ground. So, with that knowledge at hand, let's go ahead and take the hot side, or the red one, put it in the small slot for the hot. Wow, look at that! Even the screen lights up red! It tells me we have voltage. Check that out. Wow, let me shut off the big light so you guys can see that. How freaking cool is that? The screen changes when you have a voltage. Let me pull one of these out so you can see what's going on. Look at that. No voltage, no light. It automatically backlights red when it sees voltage. That's freaking awesome. So, we have 123.10, okay, at the outlet. And... Super cool added little bonus. It tells me my hertz. How freaking sweet is that? I mean, obviously here in North America, it's 60 hertz AC, deliverable residential. But this is just really cool that it has that. And there's even like a bar or a line graph here at the bottom that kind of, uh, I don't know, visually represents your voltage. But this is super nice. I can't believe this backlight thing. Like, that's just really awesome. It's another added little feature to let you know that you're connected to something live. Cool. So now that we've gone through the AC stuff, let's go ahead and I have a jump pack right here on the bench. That's a good solid DC source. Let's go ahead and flip this thing over to volts DC and see what the meter does and how it reacts. Again, check this out. Whenever you switch between AC and DC, the meter lights up and tells you where to put your probes. I'm solid. I can't get over how cool that is. So let's go ahead and slam these things into the jump pack here and see how the meter reacts. Cool. 12.8. Uh, it doesn't look... The screen doesn't illuminate on DC like it does on AC. But, uh, hey, man, that was an added feature I wasn't expecting anyway. This is really cool. And this is a really good-sized display. I mean, uh, I'm curious to see what this looks like outside in the direct sunlight. But it's crappy and raining outside today anyway. So we're just going to leave that one up to chance and say that it's probably good. Now let's go ahead and do a continuity test just for the heck of it. Just really because I want to hear the tone and see how the meter responds to it. Okay, so we have to select whether we want a tone or not. That's nice. So you see the reading on the screen that we're getting what, 0, 0, 0.1 ohms. So let's hit the function button. You see the little indicator comes up here for audio. 
All right, look at that. We get the LED also. So you get an indicator light and the tone along with the screen. That's really nice. I mean, if you're doing something as simple as fuses or even chasing wires in a cabinet or whatever, it's nice to have that tone along with the visual indication. Because if you're working in a factory environment or whatever, you can't always hear this thing beeping. So the fact that you have a nice green light it, the video doesn't do it justice. This is actually a lot brighter than that. So especially if you're in a dark environment, that'll be really nice to have that light to tell me, hey, yep, that fuse is good. So multiple ways to tell me that things are going the way that I want them to. Now, another thing we could check is an amperage test or doing current. However, I really don't have a live circuit right now that I have the ability to tear apart. And chances are, if you guys are looking at buying a meter anyway, you probably know how to do that. So you just simply hook up your meter in series. And whenever you go to their amperage, look, it lights up the probe. So it tells me that I need to switch my leads to here and here. And you simply hook up your meter in series with whatever you're trying to measure. And that's how you would do a current test. Now, the last thing I'm really curious and excited to see how it's going on is this thermocouple that it comes with. So let's go ahead, take the leads out, slap that thing in and see how that works. So in order to do temperature and use this thermocouple here, you just go on the main knob here and there is a selection for Celsius and Fahrenheit. It's a solid guess. That's probably where we're going. So obviously right now it's just going to be all out of whack and not knowing what's going on because nothing's plugged into it. But uh, again, if you take note down here, it tells me where to plug it in. So the red part of my thermal couple goes here and the black goes in the common. Let's go ahead and plug this in and see what we get on the meter. You can tell right there it's already changing pretty good. I'm at 62 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. Oh, and up top it tells you Celsius. So you have both readings at the same time here. Let's hit function and see what happens. Now uh, there is no function or anything on this. The backlight. Then min, max, and hold. This is really run of the mill for most every meter. But I tell you what, I have a regular analog thermostat on the wall that we can uh, contrast this to. Let's go ahead and take a look at what it says. Well, looky there. The thermometer on the wall says 62 on the button. Meter says 62. That's good enough for me. This thing's pretty darn accurate. So guys, in conclusion, what do I think? I think this is freaking awesome. And one more thing that I found out while I was messing around with all the camera crap here is if you turn on the backlight, it stays on. It doesn't have that idiotic 30, 40 second timer like all the other ones seem to have. And you just keep on pressing that button until it drives you crazy. I mean... Okay, this could be a bad thing. If you forget and leave it on, throw it in the drawer, it kills the batteries. However, let's be honest. If you know what you're doing, you turn the meter off when you're done. Anyway, this is the Kai Wheats HT118E. If you guys are interested in this thing, be sure to check out the link in the description below. I absolutely think this thing is freaking marvelous for the price point. And let's be honest, it's not a fluke, but... It's not $200 some plus like a fluke would be. So this thing is absolutely freaking awesome. And I know this is going to be part of my tool repertoire for as long as forever. So I really think this is a good deal. It's a solid meter. It does a lot of cool stuff. And it has a lot of features that I wasn't even expecting. Like that thing for the probes. To... I'm going to show everybody this. I'm going to totally geek out. And people that don't even care about this thing, I don't care. I'm going to show them that because I think it's freaking awesome. It takes the thinking out of it. Whenever you change to something new, the meter tells you where your probes need to be. I just, that alone is worth getting this thing, I think. I, anyway, I, I'm falling into a hole here. But seriously, if you guys are interested in this thing, check out the link in the description and grab one for yourself. I know you won't be disappointed. Until next time.